It's Wednesday night, the 11th of March, and day 71 of my journey to alignment. Boy, are the days clipping by like never before. It's so unbelievable to me. Anyway, here's the power statement I wrote last night for today. I'll record lesson two of my 12 lessons to business alignment, which is the heart of my living the dream coaching package. Well, did I get started on that? Did I record it? Well, take a look and listen to this right here. You start it, okay. That turned around. Welcome back. Because you're watching lesson two, I'm assuming you have a great idea for the business you want to start. And you're already excited about it, and that's because you actually did your homework and went online to research how much interest there is out there for your product or service. And because you found there was a lot of interest in it, you're now ready to take the next step, which is to identify your target market. And that's what lesson two is all about. So well done, I'm proud of you. You've separated yourself from all the wannabes and are now in the world of living the dream. There you go. I thought that was fun. It's been, been great, lesson two's recording, my goodness. I got lesson two's recording done and ready for the build out now. Each of the slides are gonna have the build out and the pictures and coming and going and transitions and that. But the recording's done, bam! Now I need to get to the design work and I'll have my second lesson all ready to go. So here's my to-do list for today, right here. See a lot of yellows are all important stuff today. Check my mail, check my accounts, and make sure the bills are paid. Um, I did have to transcribe and finish up that little thing for my daughter uh, for her session or hearing in, I think it's the 27th. Uh, then it says, uh, go get pie for our guest tonight. And I'll talk about that a little later. And record lesson two. Bam! Done! I love it! Okay. Now, I got the most important tasks finished. They're, they're mostly small pieces on that list coming through the portal of my mind into the world of the physical. I think by now everyone should know and believe that believing it's possible is a done deal for me. When you start bringing small pieces of your goal through the portal of your mind and into the world of the physical, you are accomplishing that goal. So I've been accomplishing my goal for 70 days. It's a big, big, big goal, four of them, and they're coming right through the portal of my mind into the world of the physical. My world of the physical and it's just a matter of time when it's all done period okay let's go ahead and answer croy's get honest with yourself questions what didn't go well today marty or what could you have done better today did you wake up early and start strong yep did you start your morning with power next were you productive throughout your entire day man oh man that was a great day enjoyed it so much i love this creativity did you get the most important things done yes i did and did you move your goals forward did you show up as the person you wanted to be today it's a person i had to be today absolutely what about your personal time with kathleen were you present we had a lovely evening with our guests and i'll talk about that here in a second the next question summarizes these did didn't go well or did you you do this questions which helps you get on with yourself and he says it this way what was the one thing out of all the things you did this morning and throughout the day today marty that you know you could improve on going forward and i added to this part did you fail at anything today that you can turn into a tool of success going forward well after going over today's effort i didn't see anything that i would describe as a failure i got my task done especially that big task of completing lesson one and recording uh, lesson two for getting ready for all the design work. And I also had um, and was prepared for our guests that uh, came tonight. And so it, it was a lovely evening that went off without a hit. So it was a great day. I'm so proud of myself. Way to go, Marty. The next question is, what was my biggest success today? Well, I think the biggest success I had today was the fact that I not only got lesson um, two recorded, and ready to have all that work done. I didn't even uh, have any interruptions. I had to break away to do some transcribing for my daughter, like I said, and send that off to her attorney, and then come back and finish the recording. But it was a great day. I made her happy, and I'm happy, and the attorney's happy, so it's all good. The next question is, what movies did you watch in your mind today, Marty? Did you make time for them? Well, more and more, I am referring to my movies that I pre-play in my mind in the morning, my uh, what I call my mindfulness time, when I have some quiet 
time in the afternoons, whatever. I'm calling them my living the dream movies now. They're all running together as a total experience. There's not just this movie, not just me. It's just start here and go there and come there. It's just a nonstop living the dream movies that I pre-play in my head. I'm seeing more and more of my future playing right on the screen of my mind like I was already there. It's fantastic. I hope you're experiencing that same thing. Next is what's the one thing you did that made you feel successful today, Marty? Knowing that I had a lot to get done, a couple of which were really important things to me, uh, when I sent out that email to my daughter's attorney with that attachment of that transcription done, that worry and stress is gone, I really felt like I had accomplished something great today and helped her. So that was great. Croy then asked us to say, rate your day's effort. Well, I gave today a nine, and that's because I didn't get to one of the lesser tasks that I had on my list to do for today. I have a check that I need to deposit into one of my accounts, and I keep putting it off and putting it off to the next day because it's not really that urgent to do that. That, and I have a lot to do and I'm excited to get done and finish up and check it off and wad it up and so I left it off today again but I'll get to it I'll make sure that I get done and get it by Friday and so now because I've said that I'm going to have it done by Friday because I'm going to keep my word to myself the next question is if this was the only thing you get done tomorrow but you'd still feel like a success what would that one thing be now put it into a power statement for tomorrow well, my power statement for tomorrow is I will start building out lesson two slides so that I can have two lessons completed and ready to go before the end of March. As these lessons get done and as I finish even more podcasts from my Mindset is Everything series, I'm finding myself to be more and more comfortable with all of this recording and editing and writing and transcribing process It's and producing. It's just fun. It's actually become a fully engaged passion for me now. I'm constantly excited. I hope your passion is happening that same way. Okay, let's end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. I'm grateful for Ziploc bags. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know, I know. It's, it's crazy. But because I have so much I want to get done every day, I am finding that taking time to go down and prepare lunch and eat lunch is harder and harder to do. And so I learned from my wife, Kathleen, and her bright line eating process that you can take time for an evening or here or whatever and do a little food factoring where you prepare food like a little factory where you can make your, up your lunches and put them in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer or the refrigerator so you can come down and in three minutes, bam, the lunch is cooked and ready to go. It saves so much time in my lunch is shorter and shorter time so I can get back up here and get my goals done. So thank you for Ziploc bags. Next, I'm grateful for manila fo you know, file folders. Buying a box, I say that because a box of folders, about a hundred of them is four or five dollars, six dollars, whatever. And I'm a little bit of an organizing freak, I think. And that uh, makes my life organized. I like that knowing right where things are. For example, I take notes as I read my book for the month. This one is The Laws of Success, and I've got nine chapters of notes in a little file folder. I put a little, write a little note on what it is, and that folder is where I'm putting my notes in, and then I have all my books in order that I can go and find those notes for a particular book. If I remember the thought from the book, I can go right to it. So it makes me and keeps me organized, and I love it. Thanks for Manila folders. And lastly, I'm grateful for mirroring feature on my iPad. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I love sitting with Kathleen, of course, on our double wide recliner and turning on the TV and then turning to my iPad. And when I want to show something, I can push it down and it has a little mirroring feature that it mirrors what's on my iPad and shoots it right up onto the big screen TV. It's quite the technology. I'm sure all you uh, younger millennials know what I'm talking about and know how to do that far, far, far better than I do. But I, my son taught me how to do that and it's been fantastic. So I love the mirroring feature on my iPad. I could go on and on listing all the small things I'm grateful for, but I'll stop there for tonight because I want to hit the sack. One can only take so much fun and excitement in one day of living the dream, right? Well, I'll see everyone tomorrow night right here, same time, same place. And until then, I wish you continued success. Good night.